Well, what's going on everybody? It's been a little while since I've videoed anything, honestly. I was away on vacation. I was really chaotic before vacation. Just, you know, how it goes. So I didn't film anything. But um, in this video, um, we got some stuff I'm going to be working on. I'm working on my 4Runner. I got a coolant link. This thing sat right here for a week in, our, in my basement down here at my dad's house. And you can see the coolant drips right there. So I'm going to see if I can't figure out where that's coming from. I'm going to show you guys how we'll, I'll find that here in a minute. And also I get back from vacation yesterday and I was going to mow my yard or in my neighbor's yard. I mow my neighbor's yard and I'm thinking that my, my lawnmower has a problem. I'm thinking it's my igniter or CDI box, whatever you want to call it. It'll run for a little while and it'll shut off. I thought it was maybe the brake switch and I jumper wired around that and that didn't fix it. And then I, uh, <clears throat> I started just playing around trying to get it to run. It run for a little while and it would shut off. And I couldn't get the start until it completely cooled off again. So I started checking a bunch of stuff and I narrowed it down to either this or my pulsar coils that go underneath it. It's a John Deere um, F725, I think is what it is, lawnmower. So I gotta fix that. I guess while I'm, I'm gonna ohm out this uh, igniter box, I'm gonna take my uh, voltmeter here, my old cheap voltmeter here and it, and uh, ohm out the igniter box here and see if, I, see if this thing ohms out right. I found a chart on the internet about that. So I'm going to try to do that. So while I'm doing that, I'll let you guys see some clips that I took this year on vacation. I didn't take very many clips this year on vacation and do any, hardly any videoing, anything, because it's a vacation and I don't feel like doing that, to be honest with you. And then I also fixed my trailer. I, don't, I made a video before we left. I don't think I showed you guys that. So after the clips of that, I'll show you guys fixing my trailer finally fixing that thing and it's 10 times better than I ever thought about being and then when you guys come back we'll uh, jump in on my 4Runner. I've been working on my old car out here. I've been tuning the carburetor on it. I got me a new timing light in the mail the other day. This uh, this one's pretty. This one's really nice, nicer than one I have. Other one I have. Uh, you can. It shows you a total degree of advanced timing and all that stuff on it, and RPMs and volts and everything else. And have my vacuum gauge out. I've been adjusting the carburetor on it. I haven't done that in quite a while. It was way out of adjustment naturally. But today is really hot and humid. It's 67 percent humidity. It's 100 heat index. I mean, it's just miserable out today. It's so hot. The ground's crunchy. Um, but I need to move my car out of the way. I'm going to pull my trailer up here. I want to fix something on it that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Got the trailer pushed up in here. Um, I took the front tongue off of it, as you can see. It just has this one hook that slides out, and the tongue slides off. Uh, look at all the ants' nests that was in there. There was a ton of them in there. I had to kill a bunch of them with some brake cleaner or eating me alive. Um, but anyway, this is the problem. This is what I'm going to try to do today is weld this piece right here on so this thing does no longer move. And uh, hopefully that will fix my swaying issue with this trailer I've always had. been meaning to do this for years and just never got around to doing it. Okay, I got the tongue slid back on here. I actually pulled it out. Uh two two and a half inches where it was maybe that, i'm hoping that'll give me some more tongue uh help it out space it out a little bit better because it's so far pushed back and everything so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to weld up this hole right here where i got all that cleaned out and then i'm going to weld along the bottom right through here all the way around the side there and this thing should be good to go because beforehand this thing moved around so much like this when you get going on the road the trailer will start doing this number especially if you hit a bump it would start doing this number 
Well, I got the hole filled in with weld there. That's all been filled in, and I took my welder, went around all the way around the sides there, went up there, and came down, went down along through here, and up to the other side over here. So, I guess that should be good enough. Tongue ain't going anywhere. No more movable tongue where it's sloppy all over the place. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that's going to help me out tremendously over using this little trailer. Well, I got this all wrapped up. It's a little bit brighter blue than I was really hoping it would be, but oh well. But at least no more shaky tongue. It's on there really good. Not going to go anywhere. Um, so I guess I'll wrap up this little project. And I've been riding this thing around the yard for a little while too. Hadn't, hadn't run my blaster in quite a while. So I decided, you know, let's take a ride on this little thing. Well, I'm glad you guys get to see those clips. I've been meaning to do that with my trailer since the 90s. Finally done. I'm excited about that. Um, but while you guys were gone, I figured out a couple of things. We'll start with the lawnmower CDI box. I got it figured out. It is fried. I started oming out all the wires and nothing, everything was reading open. So then I took this little cover off right here and I can smell it. As you guys know what I mean by that, um, it was, it's fried inside here. It's no good. So I'm going to have to order a new one of these. It's from John Deere. It's $261. My cost or out the door or whatever it costs. It kind of sucks, but oh well, I guess I'll load up my, uh, my old Craftsman lawnmower there. We'll use it for a little while. Dad's mowing the front yard with his with his old mower. Um, next thing is my uh, Forerunner. <clears throat> Normally, when I use a, a radiator pressure tester, I use these on Japanese cars. And for some reason, mine didn't want to fit. It wants to leak around the seal right here. But so this is a little setup I had to do. Um, a little kind of ghetto. This is a this is a Harbor Brakes or Harbor Freight, whatever you want to call it, kit. And it's been holding pressure. I put 15 psi on it, and there's a one of the coolant bolts for the water pump that go through the timing cover. The one that has coolant going through it, it was leaking or through the threads of that. It wasn't all. It wasn't really all that tight either. But these are the little things I had to use to get it going. Basically, use one of these. I used the smallest one of those and screwed it down tight. I had to clamp it with a C clamp right here to get it to stay because it kept wanting to pop off. as cheap Harbor Freight stuff compared to buying a snap on or a Mac one or whatever but you know for around the house this works pretty good but I put 15 psi on it it dropped a little bit I sit there and watched it drip down here a little bit and I've also found out that my uh, washer or uh, coolant overflow jug has a leak on it you can see right here the little drip there's one drip it did and it did a couple more <clears throat> in the grass but I finally fixed that got that all took care of I'm excited about that so now I, I took the bolt out and I put silicone on it, put the bolt back in, tightened it down really quick. I was trying to do it as fast as I can because naturally coolant was dripping out, but it is, or leaking out. It is what it is, but hopefully that's fixed. It's tight and should be good to go. Oh, this is actually a couple days later. We checked the uh, pulse recoils on the lawnmower. They all check out good. Um, so I ordered a brand new ignition box, uh, igniter box, whatever you want to call it, igniter module, whatever you want to call it. Ordered a brand new one of those, so we'll hopefully be fixing the lawnmower soon. So I guess that's the end of this video, but in the next video, as you might be able to see right now, we're getting ready to go ride some ATVs. My buddy steve in town from Colorado, so I haven't seen him in quite a while. So we're going to go ride some ATVs, so stay tuned for that in the next one. Y'all be good. I'll see y'all next time. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated. I'll see you again.